number 16 of this 21 day girl challenge. There's only a couple of days left today. We have an ab and booty workout. Let's do it. <music> workout with just a short plank for today. It's going to be a one minute plank. We're going to start in a high plank. It's going to be 30 second live, leg lifts followed by 30 second foot taps. I'm going to choose to do this in a high plank position, but you can always do it down on your forearms. So that one minute is going to begin in three, two, one. So starting with those leg lifts, lifting one leg up, lowering it down, lifting the other, and then lowering it down. So you don't have to go fast. I know I say that a lot, but I really want you to control the movement. You're flexing your toes down towards the floor so that your leg is strong, straight, engaged. You have your foot taps coming up here in five, four, three, two, one. So your foot goes out, in, out, in. So yes, we are warming up our entire body, but with our leg lifts and our foot taps, warming up the legs, the booty just a little bit more. Make sure that you're breathing. Draw the low belly in. You only have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, let it go. Switching things up just a little bit today, we are going to do bridge, then some core, another bridge, then some core, just to switch things up a bit. So we're gonna get started in a wide-legged bridge. So coming down towards your mat, heel to your feet out, toes are pointing wider than your mat, and they're pointing out instead of being uh, straight forward. Arms by your side, palms pressed down towards the floor. We are gonna be moving our hips up and down in three, in two, in one, let's do this. Up, lower it down, up and down. We squeeze and hover in these 21 days. You know that we will have done a lot of bridges. Love a good bridge, so good for our glutes, targeting those tiny little muscles, getting them stronger, building that nice booty that we want. So keep that going up and down, you go up and down. Make sure you're squeezing. So because we've done this quite a bit, let's see if we can hover our glutes over the mat every single time. So we're gonna go into moving our knees in and out, in three, in two, in one, hips up, your knees go in, then out, our knees go in and out. Breathe through this, unclench your teeth, just starting to really warm up the body, especially our glutes here, starting to feel that heat, feels good once you start to feel that burn, and you know it by now, these bridges, we definitely feel that burn. You're gonna give me tiny little pulses out to the side with our knees in five, four, Three, two, one, knees pulse more out than in. We pulse and pulse and pulse and pulse. Breathe. Keep your hips elevated. Your glutes are super engaged, so you're squeezing them together. Don't forget about the core. Our core is engaged. It's strong. It's really helping to protect our lower back. We just have one more movement in this bridge, taking it easy for the first one. We have our pulses up towards the ceiling in five, in four, in three, two, one. Pulse the hips to the sky. We pulse and pulse and pause. I can't tell you how many bridges I've done in my lifetime. I've done them quite a bit, but every single time I always feel that burn. That's a really good sign because we are really targeting those tiny little muscles in our glutes. So working them to their maximum. You only have a couple more seconds here. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, lower it down. Give our glutes a bit of a break. Let's lift our legs up towards the ceiling. We are going to go into reaching for the opposite foot. Legs up, crunch. As we reach for the opposite foot, we're also targeting our obliques. 20 seconds with a 10 second pulse. That's it. That's all. Let's get started in three, in two, in one. Let's do this. Reach and reach. We reach 
and reach. So obviously I have very short legs. <laughs> it's kind of easy for me to touch my toes. So I want to imagine as though I'm touching beyond my toes. And if you have longer legs, reach for your toes for three and two and when you have a 10 second pulse. So if this is too much for your legs, your hips, you can lower your feet down towards the mat. Three, two, one, you reach. So if you're reaching with your feet down, you're just reaching for the opposite knee, especially if you start to feel like your hips are buckling at all. We definitely don't wanna feel any discomfort in our hips. Otherwise, keeping your feet up towards the ceiling, you have that second pulse coming up in three, in two, in one, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two more rounds. I personally like to flex my toes down towards my face. So you're really curling your toes in towards the face. This just allows me to really try to touch my toes. Also just keeps our legs nice and engaged. You have three and two and one. We pulse it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, this is it. Let's reach and reach, reach beyond our toes. We reach and reach, breathe, exhale every single time. Alrighty, so you have that final pulse coming up in five, in four, in three, two, one. Let's do this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Second round of bridges. We're going to do our crossed legged bridges. Let's cross the right foot over the left, keeping both soles of the feet on the mat. In this one, let's keep our legs as close together as possible. Not super long for this one. It's going to really start to burn in our inner thighs. Right crosses over left. Get ready. Three and two and one. We go up and down. We go up and down. I teach these a lot in person and the most common thing that I see is our knees coming apart because obviously that's a little bit easier, right? In this one, we want to make sure we're squeezing our legs as close together as we can, especially at the top, so we're really targeting our inner thighs. Three, two, one, stay lifted, pulse it up and up we pulse and pulse. So starting to feel that burn in the inner thighs. All right, so we just have this final pulse before we switch our legs. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, left crosses over right. Right away we go up and down, we go up and down. Remember the first time ever doing this bridge. I was so sore in my inner thighs. I couldn't, I couldn't do another one. I had to stop. So I totally feel it. This gets pretty intense right away, which is why we're not here for too, too long. You're almost at that final pulse with our feet crossed. Get ready. Five and four and three, two, one. Let's do this pulse. Now, I really encourage you. Let's take a gander at our legs. Can we bring them a little bit closer together? Can you keep your hips up just a little bit more? Make the pulse smaller for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's lower down. In that first round of core, we really targeted upper middle core as well as our obliques. Let's go a little bit more into our lower core. We do have some upper middle core that's gonna be activated as well. Double leg straight, stretch, bring the knees in towards the chest, extend everything out, in and out. Try your best to keep the shoulder blades up. You can always do the whole thing with your shoulder blades down. So bringing your legs down so far that the low back stays on the mat, it's 20 seconds. 10 seconds afterwards, choosing whatever form of support you want. We're going to go into a 10 second leg lift before you go right back into your double leg stretch. Let's do this. Three and two and one. We go in, extend it out. <sighs> Exhale as you bring it in. Inhale as you extend it out. Go slow. You don't have to go very fast. You can always be right here. You can keep the shoulder blades down on the mat. You have a flutter coming up in three two, 
one, you flutter all the way down, all the way up. Remember, you can either have your hands behind your head, by your side, underneath the glutes, shoulder blades lifted or shoulder blades down. Three, and two, and one. You go in, extend it out, and out. We go in and out. Keep the low back, press down towards the mat. Now to help you, you can keep the feet a little bit further up. You don't have to bring them uh, all the way down. Three, two, one, let's flutter. All the way down, all the way up. You just have one more round of your double leg stretch coming up in three, in two, in one. Let's do this in, extend it out. <sighs> Extend it out. Shoulder blades can be down. You can do a little bit of a switch, kind of like what I'm doing. You can start with the shoulder blades lifted. You can eventually lower them down. Give it a try. You have that flutter in three, in two, in one. Let's do this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let it go. Final round of bridges. Let's bring the soles of our feet to touch, the knees come apart, arms by your side, palms pressed down towards the floor for three, for two, for one. Let's do this up and down. You lift and hover, you go up, lower it down. If this feels weird at all for your hips or for your feet. You can either meet here in a normal bridge with your feet about six inches apart, or you can come back into that wide-legged bridge. Otherwise, give this a try, but you know your body, you know how far you can go today, going whatever and doing whatever feels good for you today. So up and down, you go up and down. Really squeezing at the top. We're gonna go to moving our knees in and out in five, four, three, two, one, hips up, our knees go in, then out. We go in and out. Try to keep your legs together as much as you can, especially when you draw them in. So feel that work of the inner thighs, in and out. We go in and out. Trying to keep our hips elevated without moving our hips up and down. So to really stabilize them, you're squeezing, squeezing, squeezing your glutes together and the core is activated. The core is super strong to stabilize everything. All right, we're gonna go to moving our hips, pulsing our hips with our knees out to the side in five, four, three, two, one, knees out, we pulse, 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 and pulse. So this is our final round of bridges. Let's make it the best one yet. So we're finishing strong, mind over matter. We're way stronger than we think. We only have a couple more seconds. So you got this, pulse and pulse. The last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna bring our legs tight together. We're gonna pulse up towards the ceiling in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, feet together, we pulse and pulse. Now let's start with our heels down towards our mat. Let's keep our legs squeezed as tight together. And for the last few seconds of this pulse, we're gonna see if we can lift our heels up, make our pulse a little bit smaller and our hips come up just a little bit higher. Getting ready for that in five, four, three, two, one, lift your heels up, squeeze the heels, the big toes together, squeeze the legs, and let's do this final pulse, up and up. Squeeze your legs a little bit tighter together, let's lift our hips a little bit more, pulse a little bit smaller for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, so that was the last round of bridges. Let's target our obliques a little bit more with a Russian twist. So you can either keep your feet down, bring the upper body back slightly. You can either dig your heels down towards the mat again, bring your upper body back, or maybe lift your legs up towards the ceiling. You just twist from side to side. 20 seconds with a 10 second hold, either with the knees bent, legs straight, or feet down towards your mat. We're only gonna do three rounds, okay? So that's gonna get started in three, in two, in one, let's do this twist and twist. You can absolutely use a weight for this, but in this hit style training, Tabata training with the 20 seconds on 10 second active recovery or rest, 
you really don't necessarily need it, but you can definitely use it. Three and two and one. We hold, either holding with our feet down, maybe giving a try, extending our feet up, maybe extending the legs for three, for two, for one. Let's do that twist and twist. So I personally usually keep my feet down towards the mat. I have very tight hips and I often find that in my Russian twist, it's actually my hips that are straining, especially if I keep them lifted. So I keep them down towards the mat. So I'm really targeting the obliques. Three and two and one we hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do this final round. We twist and twist. Let's look at our hands as we twist from side to side, twisting a little bit further. Let's feel our obliques activate here. You have a final hold coming up in three, in two, in one. Let's hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let it go. Right, so really to activate uh, our booty a little bit more, we're gonna come into that Jane Fonda movement that we did a couple of workouts ago. So resting on your side, you can either cradle your head in your hands. I personally like to be up here on my forearm. Your legs are as straight as they can be by your side, flexing your toes in towards the face. You come up and down, you go up and down. We're gonna do this for a couple of seconds. Then what I want you to do, lift it up, tap, tap forward, tap, tap backwards. We're gonna do this a couple of times before we stay lifted. Tiny little pulses, really flexing our toes in towards the face before we move and we do it on the other side. So either cradle your head in your hands or up on your forearm for three, for two, for one. Let's do this up and down up and down. I absolutely love this movement. It is so good. Really good to target our outer glute. A lot of leg work happening here as well. Booty on fire, Pilates inspired movements with that hit style training to work our booties and are those muscles to their maximum. So we just have a couple more seconds here. Remember, we're gonna move into the lift, tap, tap forward. Let's look at our toes, make sure they're flexed in towards you. Get ready for those taps in three, two, one. Let's do this, tap, tap, up, tap, tap, up. Breathe, <sighs> tap, tap, up, you got it, tap, tap, lift and tap, tap, lift. Just a couple more seconds here before we go into that final pulse coming up in three, in two, in one, see, lift and pulse, pulse, whoo! That outer glute here, outer leg on fire, booties on fire, stay with it. Now let's lift our leg up a bit higher. Hold, 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 hold. Now final pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, give it a bit of massage. Alrighty, so we have the other side. That's gonna start in three, in two, in one. Let's do this. Up and down. You go up and down. Oh my goodness, I have the sun shining in my face. Up and down. You go up and down. Remember, you can be down here, um, cradling your head in your hands as well. You have a couple more seconds here. So up and down. Make sure that you're flexing your toes in towards the face so your leg is strong. It's straight. It's engaged. So you're going to have those tap taps coming up here in five, in four, in three, two, one. You tap, tap, lift. Woo! Tap, tap, lift. Breathe. Tap, tap, up and tap, tap, up. Last few seconds. Take it at your own pace. Take it at your own time. Remember to breathe. Remember to keep your toes flexed in towards the face for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Let's do this. Up and up and up 
and up. We pulse, flex your toes in towards your face. All right, you guys, this is it. Let's lift our leg up just a bit higher. Hold, 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 hold. Final pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, Woo. final round of core. We're gonna come into a tabletop position, flexing your toes in towards the face. All you're gonna do is bring one leg down, inhaling it back up, other leg taps down, and up 20 seconds, 10 seconds, we're gonna hold here, and then we're gonna continue three rounds. You can always lower the shoulder blades down towards your mat. Final core, let's do this. In three, in two, in one, let's do this. Down and up, you go down and up. Remember, we really wanna keep the low back pressed down towards the mat. You can always keep the shoulder blades down towards the floor, flex your toes in towards the face. We have a hold coming up in three, two, one, you have a 10 second hold. So really flexing your toes in towards the face, keep the knees back in line with your hips for three, two, one, let's do this. Tap and up, you go tap and up. So really targeting the lower core as we bring our leg down and up, keeping our shoulder blades lifted, really activating upper middle core, especially in that 10 second hold, three, two, one, let's hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, final time. Down and up, you go down and up. Remember, you can be right here. You can keep the palms pressed down towards the floor, really making sure that you're keeping the low back pressed down towards the mat. You have that final hold coming up in three, in two, in one, let's hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. So coming into a tabletop position, you're gonna extend your leg out to the side. All you're gonna do is lift it up and lower, you go up and down. So it's gonna feel pretty intense, by the way, I am warning you. We do want to point our toes so that your leg is as long as you can have it. As best as you can, it's by your side, but if it gets too much, you can always bring it further away from you so that um, it gets a little bit easier. Not too many of this up and down, up and down, tiny little pulse, and we're done. Other side in three, in two, in one, let's do this up and down, up and down. So really targeting that outer glute here. You can be on your forearms for this. You're breathing here, just lightly tapping the foot down towards the mat and back to the side. So you have a pulse coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Pulse it up and up and up and up, woo, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, woo, release. Alrighty, so we have our other side coming up here. So getting ready for that, leg is straight, you can always bring it further behind you at any point. The other side, last thing we're gonna do, starts in three, in two, in one, let's do this up and down. You go up and down. Breathe, exhale, down, exhale, down. You only have a couple more seconds here. Remember, you can always bring the leg a little bit further away from you, further behind you. So you have that final pulse coming up in five, four, three, two, one, let's do this pulse and pulse. It burns, yes it does, but you only have a couple more seconds here. Stay with it up and up and up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, holy. You did it, you crushed day number 16. We only have a couple more days left. Please take a couple stretches for the glutes in the lower body and I'll see you tomorrow for day number 17.